Gather round, everyone. Today we'll be telling the story of the Adopt Me shutdown rumors and how they took over some of the more impressionable audience of the RTC. It all started with the trend of parody fool accounts with the first account you may remember was an Alex Neutron parody account. Although they now branded to RTC News Satire, the message said that Meat City was closing. Many people even fell for it because of how smart the branding was. The message said, Hello Robloxians, I am here to announce that on August 8th, Meep City will close down its doors for good. It's been an amazing run, but it's time that I continue to work on other projects to bring the best experience that you can get on Roblox. In fact, you've probably seen many of your favorite YouTubers make videos on the exact same subject. Although the account rebranded due to the immense controversy, which was believed due to fearmongering, because Meep City's audience is mostly 13 and other, some people argued that it was cruel to target kids, others argued that the account clearly stated it was a parody in the biography, and it was funny just because of how people fell for it. it seems now that other accounts have followed the trend, this time being Adopt Me. However, Adopt Me has had much rumors spread behind it, including sensitive topics. You may have seen the countless videos on YouTube and more, with videos of young children being scared. For the record, Adopt Me isn't shutting down, which I'll explain why in the latter half of the video. In fact, some rumors were so bad to the point where they included sensitive details of the founders and employees that were indeed fake in an attempt to get a reaction. Some include lead developer Josh resigning, Jeremy's recent incident, and more, which were all baseless rumors, but many still believe them. Let's learn how the story continues and what leads us to now with these rumors. My name's Sneaky Alex and this is our Roblox drama series where we take both sides of the story with a non-biased perspective. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Pastor and your squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in this video, make sure to subscribe for this Roblox drama, news, tips and tricks, and more. Don't forget to turn on the bell so that you never miss out on one of my videos, which are uploaded weekly to twice a week. Let's get started with the organization of this video. We're going to organize it in such a way that avoids this bias, as we do not want our story to be one-sided, because therefore we cannot get the full picture of the entire story. Before we do, we are so close to 5k, I'd appreciate if you helped me get that number. But in today's video, we will be going through number one, the situation summarized, number two, why these accounts are fake and why they do it, and number three, the opinion the opinion. In my opinion on the matter after going through all the subject matter, let's get started with the situation summarized. Let's summarize the history of the Adopt Me account and the responses to it. A now suspended account was created in August and gave a good attempt to make graphics like Adopt Me. In this archive message, the account was known as Adopt Me Roblox. Here's what the message said. Bad news. Sadly, the Adopt Me team has decided to shut down due to a major data breaches, and we are all very tired of working on the game now. Sorry for the inconvenience, we'll be shutting down on 8-11-2020, August 11th, the same date as the Alex Neutron parody account. This account sprung up a day or two later and gained a following of 3,000 followers. Excuse the potato quality, but the caption above reads on the parody account. Please read the message below. We apologize, but this is what the team agreed on. We will be moving back to Treelands with a whole new team. For those who do not know what or who Treelands is, Treelands is a game created by the Adopt Me developers previously and was a roleplay game with 25 Robux to beta access it. In the game, you can build your host, chat with other members, have furniture, and more. It's best recognized by the Apple-type logo. Essentially, it was the original Adopt Me. It was abandoned due to previous issues with trauma surrounding the game's development team, which is sensitive due to the loss of a team member. This team member was mentioned in Jeremy's post, which I wish not to discuss in this video further, due to the fact of how horrid the language was and the fact that it's a very sensitive topic. As such, Adopt Me was made to have a start from Treelands, as the developers literally could not focus working on the game for very understandable reasons. Continuing forward, the post reads in a wee tweet. Stop sign emoji. Stop calling this fake. This is a real statement and all the Adopt Me developers accounts have been locked for no reason. Okay, I'll admit that's hugely sus for me and that was probably their cue to say, hey, this is a parody account. We have to use this while we wait for the Twitter team to help us out. Many young impressionable ones who use their parents' Twitter accounts or simply just browsed illegally or as a guest were very scared. So many people tried to admit, is Adopt Me shutting down? I don't know, which garnered the parody account more attention. Some argued this was really cruel because of Adopt Me's child audience which scared people unironically. Even some bigger figures fell for the post. Others argued it was great because it was cruel, including the Kaneko kitten and the rest. I see both sides, however, it ended up causing real harm. This was the same reason that got the RTC News account to change back their name to not Alex Neutron anymore. You can argue that videos of their own with fear-mongering title caused some of this mess, but in reality, if people took time to do research and watch the videos instead of automatically assuming, this wouldn't have happened. From the RTC drama uprising more, Adopt Me had to address it. 
So the real Adopt Me account tweeted, the real one, at Play Adopt Me as link in the game's description, which is how you can tell if it's real or fake. On August 12th, Adopt Me tweeted, these are the only Adopt Me profiles. Anyone claiming to be one of us or our founders is lying and wants to scam you. Our founders only social media at bthink underscore robux at newfissy, https slash slash instagram.com slash the newfissy. If you see in profiles impersonating us, please report them on the platform. And it's actually a Twitter offense to be a parody, which has had many check marks taken away and many accounts away. As such, Adopt Me's audience was angered and took it to Twitter to suspend the new account only a day later. The account tweeted five or six tweets before people realized it was fake when the real account addressed the parody account. They then tweeted, These are our only official accounts. Our new rumor comes in every few weeks, and if we reply to every single one, that's all we'd be doing. Please remember this and educate each other. Purple Heart. Adami also tweeted that they are here to stay and that nobody would be shutting down anytime soon. This leads us to now. I interviewed one of the owners of the RTC News account called Zachar B. Here's what he had to say. I said, hey, can I have a word with you? It's okay if no. I'm doing a YouTube video on parody accounts like yours. Why do you think the account got traction personally? Like the RTC News account? I feel like they get traction because the trending slash absurd topics we post on, it's not every day that you come on Twitter and see Meep City is shutting down or a super super happy face trending. Let's read some community opinions. This one by Momo says, Bruh, these are kids, of course they'll get mad, but this is hilarious seeing all those replies thinking Adopt Me is really shutting down. I know it's a fake account and a joke, but darn, why do you do that? I'm not a fan of Adopt Me. This is an old account for people who are going to lurk, but still. They worked hard on their game and people are pretending it's shutting down, making their fan base worried. This is very real, so real to the point where I'm going out to see kids who are tricked making sad TikToks about Adopt Me shutting down. Wish you weren't shutting down, but congrats on the break. They aren't shutting down. Heck you, you actually bait little kids into thinking Adopt Me will be shutting down. It's the Alex Neutron thing all over again. My overall thoughts on the situation, it's funny because it's cruel. It's up to the audience to essentially debunk it themselves in many ways, shapes, or forms. You can check if the information you are checking is real by seeing, is it from a reputable source? In this case, no. It wasn't linked to Adopt Me's game. Do they use over-exaggerated language? Yes. It was in this case because it was a parody account. Do they have any sources other than themselves? In this case, no. Therefore, before causing a big panic, always do research. This was absolutely a cruel account for younger children who didn't know any better. And if you are one of those kids, please know that there is nothing to be scared about and it's not real. Your account is safe. Adopt Me has a team of about 30 people that work on the game. They wouldn't just stop something updating they're passionate about. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.